so today is gonna be that one bad day that we hate doing. These guys are at the 12 week mark. What's that little guy? Yeah. Oh, little baby. So this one is from Peter and Hare. And uh, he's going to be the one that we, the one male that we keep on this side. And the reason why I wanted to keep him because of how he looks. I think he'll be producing some, some good looking babies. So he, out of the, uh, I think we got 12, 12 bucks, young bucks, he will be the only one that we'll keep. And uh, we'll figure out which one we'll keep of the females. For the females, having the, I think it's going to be Smiley Butt. Let me see if I can find Smiley Butt. Y'all get down. Stay there. We got out of the girls, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven girls, or oh, eight. And this one would be the one that we're going to keep. I was hoping. Oh, we can't keep you. You're Peter and Hare, too. Oh, poor baby. So, guess we won't be keeping Smiley, but. Let's see, what else can we keep? Why are you chewing on my foot? Let's see, that's Peter. Uh, your coffee. Dang, coffee, you didn't make any good girls. Your coffee. So I could do a Peter Chewy. Let's see if I can find a Peter Chewy. Are you a Peter Chewy? No, you're Smiley, but. You're, you're Peter Chewy. Let's see, what are you? Peter Hare. Why are y'all being so nosy? Uh, but you're just a plain Jane. Let's see. I'm going to show them something. These are considered rue. Red eye um, rabbits. These are supposed to be the best, uh, best meat rabbits to have. Or the ones that originated from the Tamuk University. And that stands for Texas A&M. Uh, Kingsville the red eye was supposed to be the original ones and then you got your composite Where you have your mixture because people I guess people wanted uh, different colors and things of that nature to me the red eye ones just look kind of freakishy scary almost kind of I Don't know like uh, some demon rabbits uh, the reason why we're not kind of uh, Saving those uh, I do like the color ones as you can see from that one that was I think those are called broken ones or I'm not sure exactly about the rabbit how they're called we're still learning uh, so if you have any experience with this comment down below and let us know harvesting day for our animals is always a hard thing for me uh, yes they most animals on this property will have at least one bad day uh, we try to give them the best life up to that time frame so they were able with this uh rabbit tractor they was able to eat grass on a daily basis most of the time we do supplement uh, their feed with some uh, timothy or alfalfa pellets now with these uh, from what i've read we should have been uh, feeding them alfalfa uh, more alfalfa to uh, help them gain their weights and also while um, the does were nursing we should have gave them uh, also alfalfa that could kind of help produce the milk but other than that it's been a pretty good experience for us 
once these guys uh, go and I build the grow the full grow out pen, I'm gonna think I'm gonna call that the dough pen that we're gonna keep our doughs at, and um, we'll keep the original pen uh, for them as the buck pen. So it's kind of intimidating day today. We got it all set up. We got the gambrels uh, set up. We got that design from the rabbitry center we also bought their uh rabbit their uh hopper popper device got that hooked up to the tree we're gonna try to save the livers and the heart and feed that uh, as treats to the chickens kind of nervous doing this all on our own uh, for the first time so we're not going to show the whole ordeal we're going to show you the after effects we're going to weigh them and find out what was the total weight out of these uh, rabbits that we have. We'll possibly see what we can do better on the next batch. We're at day two and we decided to keep one uh, buck and one doe. His uh, favorite buck is your not favorite. my favorite. He's yeah. just pretty. Look at him. Isn't he just pretty? Yeah. I picked the doe. I really like this doe. She has such a cute little nose and I just love her coloring. So this was the one I wanted. So yesterday was the first day processing rabbits uh, all by ourselves and all in all all three of us none of us had experience doing it all of us watched a lot of videos by the rabbitry center and like i want to say what was it our uh, ridge life we watched that those vid a few of those videos it kind of like picked up tips from each one. I think I would have been a lot more intimidated if it was my first time processing anything. The fact that I have experience processing chickens made me feel a little bit more comfortable with the whole dispatch process um, because this is not an animal that I, and I, I've said this before, that I'm even comfortable processing. Um, the only thing that motivated me to process is this hutch is very heavy. It's hurting my shoulders moving it. And I was moving it every day. And it was a large task on my chore list. So that was my only motivation, honestly. Mine was adding another protein in our, our freezer. Uh, I was very, oh, you seem like you're trying to jump out my leg. I'm always like this on butchering days. I get nervous because it's something that I don't want to do, but I know that it's something that provides uh, for our family and whatnot. Uh, but after the first one, we did a test run of one before we had our guest come in because uh, she's going to be butchering her rabbits this weekend. No, not yet, but, but pretty soon. soon. And so she wanted to learn and uh, find out what her methods was. And we all agree that the method that we used was the one from the get-go that just sounded right to us. So we did the with the hopper popper that we got from uh, the rabbitry center. We purchased it from him since I didn't have a welder or anything. We made the gambrel. It's very easy. It's eight inch conduit, half inch conduit with some wire and some uh, some wire clamps and stuff it was easy where we used gravity to help us use the dispatch or to eviscerate the rabbit I liked 
the flexibility it gave us to set it where we want it to because we actually did this on a day where it said that there was going to be 90 percent chance of thunderstorms mm -hmm. and we didn't know exactly when that was going to hit so it allowed us to set up our station undercover so that no matter what the weather is we could continue it wasn't going to affect that's something i like is yeah. that we can do that with chickens and rabbits here and uh so but the first one like i said this uh eviscerating the rabbit i was kind of nervous because i was scared to nick, <laughs> nick the uh, meat and stuff but after that it was, i was going through it like like easy yeah you were a champ you he did all of the dispatching um because they're really we have a one foot uh height difference it's not two Shush. <laughs> we have a one foot height difference and the gambrel should be lower because you have to pull up and the way that he had it placed there was no way with the strength that was not with my shoulder how it is well from uh the rabbit tree center he was saying to have it around your hip that's where you want to put the uh, gambler so that's where i had that mine at because i wasn't even expecting you to even do anything well me and michelle are around the same height so both neither one of us like we were like we looked at it and the angle we we're like we can't do it yeah after the first three i felt very comfortable uh, we didn't show much about it because it wasn't really a how-to. It was our next step to be self-sufficient and having a meat source that we didn't have to rely on the big chain system. So It was our first time. Yeah. And I feel like, honestly, um, I feel like for our first time, he did a lot of homework. I felt like you... <laughs> If, if somebody would have been here that didn't know that you didn't know, they wouldn't know that you didn't know. Because yeah. he, he really was a great instructor. He like stayed between me and Michelle and was like the QA inspector and knew like what to look at. So I was really impressed with how you were. And now we have to go inside and it's been 24 hours that we had him in some cold water. Kept the meat of the rabbits uh, below 45 degrees. To give it a nice rest so it'd be nice and tender we're not going to show much of that because we're still learning about this we have to figure that out right yeah. because we only know how to package up poultry so we don't know if we need to do a vacuum system or if we need to do what we do with the shrink bags what will work all in all i think this was a great process and a great achievement that we put under our belts now uh processing chickens turkeys ducks and now rabbits if you want to see how we decided to tag our rabbits and divide them and separate them from their mama we'll put that in a video right up to the side here until the next time let's grow together <laughs>